Ian Life Alert. So we have some breaking news coming out uh, on the mainstream media, which is very interesting because as we know, the mainstream media is always very late to share any kind of news. Um, so here we have a mysterious deep space radio signal is being sent to Earth every 16 days. Um, this is coming out of CBS News, but pretty much all the mainstream headlines are covering it. Um, it's basically a radio signal that's being recorded every 16 days. Um, and it's being picked up by Chime, which is the Canadian uh, radio telescope. So they can uh, basically listen in on radio waves from outer space. It's basically just like a giant uh, radio tower that they can collect radio signals from outer space. Um, and that's the Canadian Hydrogen Intensity Mapping Experiment Fast Radio Burst Project. So CHIME, CHIME FRB. Um, and scientists do believe that this radio signal is coming from 500 uh, million light years away in a different galaxy. Um, and what there's, they have no idea what's causing it. Um, you know, there's obviously some people speculating it's a black hole or some type of binary star system. But I mean, let's be real, guys. You know, black holes and stars, you know, they don't emit radio waves. Uh, that just to me doesn't make any sense. Um, and what's very interesting here, it says here that before now, such radio pulses appeared to be random in timing. Um, but, but that changed when the, the chime experiment discovered a repeating pattern, um, you know, which is this new, uh, fast radio signal that the Canadians have been picking up on their radio telescopes. Um, you know, and, um, they're not random. They're, they're, uh, on a 16 day cycle. Um, and so the name of the fast radio burst, if you guys want to do more searching, it's FRB. 180916.j0158 plus 65. All right. So I highlighted it here. If you guys want to take a look at that, and I'll leave a link below in the description box um, if you guys want to read more about it. But basically, this fast radio uh, burst, it basically sent, sends out uh, radio burst signals. Uh, for four days and then it stops for 12 and then it repeats again for four days and then stops for 12, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and they said that it's uh, already done this 28 times from September, 2018 until October, 2019. All right. So basically all of last year and at the end of 2008, at the end of 2018 in September, is when they started noticing these uh, radio bursts and they lasted all the way until October of 2019. So they've been following this radio burst cycle uh, for a whole year without telling anybody. And it's just now coming out into the media, which uh, I've told you guys many times before that they, they're keeping secrets from us um, and they always delay releasing any kind of information. Um, you know, so it's very interesting. They, like I said, the 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 radio burst comes out for a four second period, uh, four day period is when the radio signals are emitting. You know, from this galaxy, five hundred uh, million light years away, and then it stops for twelve, and it repeats again for four days, and then stops for twelve again. And they say that that's it's already been that way for twenty eight cycles, guys. So they've been following this thing for quite a bit. Um, you know, and, uh, it has a very steady, uh, it's signal is very steady. It doesn't waver. It's pretty much a 16 day cycle. Um, and, um, it says here that scientists recently pinpointed the specific radio signal to spiral galaxy S D S S J zero one five. 800.28 plus 654.253.0. Okay. Um, 
so that's the name of the galaxy. Um, you know, I'll leave a link so you guys can look it up yourself, but um, I find it very interesting. Um, and I think you guys should, you know, look into this more yourself. And um, it's definitely not, you know, a, a binary star. It's definitely not, you know, a black hole like they're saying. I mean, how, how is it possible for a black hole to emit radio signals on a constant 16 day cycle? Uh, that's to me, that's kind of unusual. It's to me, it sounds like somebody's trying to communicate with us. Um, and there's another interesting thing, couple things that, you know, you don't really hear too much on the mainstream media. And that's, you know, there was a, a, a radio signal picked up in 1977. It was called the wow signal. That's W O W wow. Uh, it was a strong narrow band radio signal that was received it, um, on August 15th, 1977 by Ohio State University's Big Ear Radio Telescope in the U.S., uh, which was used to search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Um, so basically, Ohio State, they have this big radio telescope that's constantly listening for any kind of radio signals for, for intelligent life uh, out there in, the, in space. And, uh, you know, on, on August 15th, 1977, there was an extremely strong signal that came in through the radio that came, they say it came from the direction of the constellation Sagittarius. Um, and the reason why it's called the wow signal is, is when the astronomer discovered the radio signal a few days later while he was reviewing uh, recorded data, he, he was so impressed by the signal that he actually wrote down on the piece of paper, wow, and he sit and he circled uh, the printout, you know, the part of the signal that was extremely high. Um, and the signal lasted for 72 seconds. Um, and it was all recorded by the Ohio State University. So um, I wanted to just share that with you. Um, so we do know that there have been other signals in the past. Um, and obviously, there's also you know, numerous government cover-ups and government secrets regarding extraterrestrial life and, uh, you know, uh, UFOs. Uh, recently, uh, last year in 2019, we had uh, David Fravor, Commander David Fravor, which was the an Air Force pilot uh, who had a close encounter. Uh, he was an F-15 fighter pilot that had a close encounter with a UFO uh, him and his squadron were chasing it in the Pacific Ocean just off of San Diego. And since then, he's actually went on numerous TV shows, including uh, Joe Rogan, to talk about his experience, uh, you know, while he was in pursuit of this UFO that basically traveled 60 miles in a matter of seconds. It disappeared off of their uh, radars and reappeared 60 miles later in a matter of seconds. Um, and this was the first uh, UFO footage that was declassified by the U.S. military, and it's available in the public domain. Um, I'll leave a description, I'll leave a link in the description below so you guys can look at that video. Um, but basically, it's just a, uh, a UFO that was caught uh, on thermal cameras, you know, of the uh, F 15s that were. Uh, dispatch to investigate, you know, an unusual object flying in the Pacific off of San Diego. And uh, Commander Fravor was the leader of the squadron. And, uh, you know, all of the all of the planes, they obviously have thermal, you know, scopes on there to uh, record everything. And they recorded this unusual object, you know, with no exhaust plume and just traveling, you know, in, in very high rates of speed, defying the, the laws of physics as we know it, um, you know, tra traveling very fast and, you know, very linearly. Um, so we know that there's a lot of stuff that's that's kept secret. And, and this situation with Commander Fravor happened in 2006, I believe, so 13 years ago, and they're just releasing it now, uh, which was very interesting. Um, and then we also had the Vice News Channel uh, put a Freedom of Information uh, Act request to the U.S. Navy to get more information around that close encounter that Commander Fravor had. And um, the U.S. Navy said that they're not allowed to release any more information uh, 
because it could have caused grave damage to national security. That's specifically what the Navy said uh, to the Vice News Channel. They said it would cause grave damage if they released any more videos or classified briefings that they had on this uh, situation in the Pacific. But I uh, just wanted to keep you guys updated with what's going on here. So we do have this uh, mysterious radio signal happening every 16 days that's being tracked by the Canadians. Um, it's coming from a galaxy 500 million light years away. And it's on a 16 day cycle, four days on and then 12 days off and then four days on again. Um, nobody knows what's causing it, but uh, I believe it's intelligent life, um, maybe trying to reach out to us or reach out to some other civilization. Um, and they've already been following this thing for a whole year. It started in September 2018 and ended in October 2019. So I uh, just wanted to share this with you guys um, and keep you guys updated on what's going on. So um, I'll keep you posted with any other breaking news that I find. Uh, take care. God bless. And don't forget the three Ps, prepare, practice, and persevere.